Well, now we'll now revisit our top story this afternoon. That is in the corridors of justice where Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu has been handed a reprieve after the High Court stopped a prosecution by the Director of Public Prosecutions of alleged fraud and abuse of office. The three-judge bench ruled that the manner in which the DC obtained that evidence of her bank accounts was illegal and that they acquired the documents in misuse of the court order and misrepresentation. Let's now listen to those reactions after that particular ruling. A great milestone for us, for the judicial system, the administration of justice, um, and so for us we, we just want to highlight the things that the court came out very strongly on and they are very fundamental issues. Three things. One, the court has come out very strongly on the right to privacy. The court has noted that the evidence that was obtained illegally against the Deputy Chief Justice was in violation of her privacy. It also came out very strongly that that evidence was illegally obtained and the court has been very categorical in stating that evidence obtained illegally no matter how damaging in violation of a person's rights cannot be the basis upon which a foundation is mounted and at the start of its decision the court went back to what we had said was the genesis of this matter comments that had been made by the president the executive in our view, these comments then set the tone and the foundation upon which this prosecution was being carried out. It encouraged the state to obtain evidence illegally in order to violate or to undermine the independence of a judicial officer, which is the third point that the court has addressed also very robustly. The separation of powers and judicial independence. The judiciary is a very important arm of government. We should not make any mistake what this case was about. At the end of the day, it touched on the institution of the judiciary and its independence.